It's election day, and the polls opened at 9 this morning and will close at 8 p.m. Regardless of the precinct where you vote, you'll need your photo ID today in order to cast your ballot. That's a valid state or federal photo ID, and your driver's license may be your best bet. Many of the more than 22,000, which is actually 22,756 active registered voters in Campbell County, vote today on two countywide offices in the county's general election, while there are several names on the ballot for today's state and federal primary election. One is the road superintendent race between incumbent Dennis Potter and challenger James Scott Evans. The other countywide race pits incumbent property assessor Brandon Parton against Clark Ford and Tony Kitts. There are three contested school board matchups in the first district. Danny Wilson is challenging incumbent David Lynch, while in the second district, incumbent Homer Rutherford is challenged by Clifford Colmeyer, and in the fifth district, Elsie Crawford challenges incumbent J.L. Sarge Collins. Third district incumbent Johnny Burge is unopposed, as is school board chairman Mike Oreck, who represents the fourth district. That's the local portion of the county's general election. In the state primary elections, Ken Yeager is unopposed as he runs for a second term as the 12th district state senator. Incumbent state representative Dennis Powers of the 36th district and James Virgil Kidwell will meet in the general election on November 6th. Republican Powers and Independent Kidwell are unopposed in the primary. With the realignment of the districts, Campbell County will have two congressmen come January 1st. On the north side, in the second district, Democrat Troy Christopher Goodale is unopposed, while Nick Sapero, John Duncan Jr., and Joseph Lynn Weber Jr. vie for the Republican nomination. Campbell County's south side has four Republicans and two Democrats in the third district primary for Congress. On the Democratic ticket, it's Mary Hedrick and Bill Taylor, while the Republicans are Ron Bahala, Chuck Fleischman, Scotty Mayfield, and Weston Womp. Incumbent U.S. Senator Bob Corker leads a long list of Republican challengers, including Fred Anderson, Mark Twain Clemens, Brenda Lennard, and Zach Pacific. The Democrats for the U.S. Senate are Mark Clayton, Larry Krim, Gary Jean Davis, Dave Hancock, Park Overhaul, T.K. Owens, and Benjamin Roberts. There are two criminal appeals judges on the ballot, Jeffrey Bivens from the Middle Division and Roger Pace of the Western Division. You'll have a chance to vote to retain or replace both judges. Early voting ended Saturday with 2,970 votes being cast early. Polls at 21 countywide precincts open this morning at 9 and close tonight at 8. WLAF's coverage begins election night here at 7.30 over the radio, the television, and our website, 1450wlaf.com. It's a big day for football in Campbell County. David Graham's annual football preseason show kicks off this evening at 6 o'clock at Eastside Pizza. WLAF has coverage over the radio and the web channel as Les Martin, voice of the football Cougars, serves as host. Campbell High head coach Justin Price and some of his Cougars will be on hand. The Campbell County High School cheerleaders and the marching band are also scheduled to join the celebration. The Cougars open the regular season on Friday, August 17th at home in a 7.30 game with Seymour. WLAF provides all the action over the radio, 
the web, and the television. This weekend is the sales tax holiday. That's starting at 12.01 a.m. Friday and going through Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Watch tax-free, in a nutshell, clothing of $100 or less and school supplies of $100 or less and computers of $1,500 or less are also tax-free. For a detailed account of just what is tax-free, connect here. And Tennessee kids ranked healthiest in the South. That's according to 2012 Annie E. Casey Foundation's New Kids County Data Book. The data book ranks Tennessee 16th in the nation in children's health. Tennessee scored higher than ever in the children's health category in large part because of a lower infant mortality rate and more health coverage for kids. With only 5% of children living without health insurance, Tennessee surpassed the national average. And that's today's news. Stay tuned next for the press release from the Sheriff's Department. And it's time now to take a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. Thirteen people have been booked into the county jail in the past 24 hours. John Daniel Brown, 49, of South High Knob Road, La Follette, for violation of the light law, driving while suspended, DUI, and on a KPS bench warrant. 37-year-old Carrie E. Carson of Lake Lane and Caraville for theft of property under $500, two counts. Joey F. Farah of Valley Street, Jacksboro on an attachment for child support. Ashley Ann Fox, 23, of South High Knob Road, La Follette for contributing to a minor. 22-year-old Dallas Cody Frazier of Alley Lane and Jacksboro for theft of property between $500 and $999 and possession of drug paraphernalia. Angel Lewis Gar, 41, of Jellicoe on a capious bench warrant, an attachment for child support and criminal trespassing. 27-year-old Danielle E. Harris of East Hemlock Street, La Follette for DUI violation of the Tennessee financial law and violation of the light law. Joseph G. Jones, 19, of Camp Ridge Road, La Follette, for public intoxication. 25-year-old James Randall King of Sugarwood Lane, La Follette, for violation of probation. Justin Scott Reynolds, age 20, of South 11th Street, La Follette, for underage consumption of alcohol. Elena Beth Sparks, 48, a Pleasant Ridge Road, La Follette, for theft of property under $500. 18-year-old Matthew Ray Teague of East Woodland Court, La Follette, underage consumption of alcohol. And last today, Nathan E. Ward, 24, of Countryside Circle in Jacksboro, two counts of theft of property under $500. And that's a look at the news today. Stay tuned throughout the evening with us because we'll be back with full election coverage right here tonight at 7.30. and thank you for tuning in to WLAF News at 530. I'm Lori Leach. It's time now to announce birthdays and anniversaries for this Thursday afternoon. It's all brought to you by Eastside Pizza and Deli located in the Food Line Shopping Center. We would like to wish a very happy birthday to Linda England, Benny Morgan, Teresa Brock, who's celebrating her 38th birthday today, Orlando Ayers, celebrating his 21st birthday, and Dekayla Wallace. Now, everybody I just mentioned is qualified to win a dinner for two from Eastside Pizza and Deli. The couple celebrating their wedding anniversary today is Sue and Glenn Evans celebrating their 52nd wedding anniversary. Now, that couple is also qualified to win a dinner for two from Eastside Pizza and Deli. Let us know who's celebrating your birthday or anniversary in your world 
Just call us at 562-1450. That's it for birthdays and anniversaries. Thanks for joining us this evening. We invite you to stay tuned. Your news continues after this.